Oh, human, it's time to wake up. If you sleep in too late again, you'll make me upset. And you know how I get when I'm upset. Though, I do love how cute you are when you're asleep. You do get so little of it, after all. But today is special, and it is time to wake up. Paperwork moves slowly down here, and after a month, our initial registration request has finally been approved. Now we just have to fill out our paperwork and seal the forms with your blood. And yes, unfortunately mine as well. I wanted a pet human after all and taking full responsibility for you is a part of that. For better or for worse, you've been doing well as my pet, after all, for the most part. I worry that I haven't been taking good enough care of you, though. I mean, you have one of your human computers now, and I feed you regularly. However, I have not been able to get those games you've been asking for, and there's no human internet like you wanted. I mean, I asked the spiders to try their best, but... Ah, you're finally awake, my dear human. Come now. We have much to do today. Yes, yes, your breakfast is ready. I went to the human world and obtained some of those muffins you so enjoy. Yes, from that fast food place again. I even obtained a few cans of that drink you asked for. I do so wish I could prepare meals for you personally, my dear human. But, alas, I have no idea what ingredients you would use. And never learned how to cook. I am able to prepare you a drink for you, at least. Here, please, allow me. This is hell. It's going to be all foam. <laughs> uh, now please, eat quickly. For today, we must complete our registration. Today is the day we officially become responsible for each other's actions and needs. Truth be told, it's more of a contract and registration. But if we called it that, there would be far more legal ramifications than even we as demonic folk would prefer to deal with. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you've noticed, we do love our paperwork. Contracts, registration, promises, agreements. I'll have to take you downtown to the administration offices sometime, so you can get a full taste of it. The atmosphere itself is simply intoxicating. Uh, no, I suppose humans are a bit more chaotic. You enjoy different things and surprises. You don't adhere to a structured lifestyle. 
Perhaps that's one of the things I find so appealing about you, my dear human. You have such freedom of choice. So, have you gotten used to life down here? Yes, such as the lake of lava. <laughs> it may not be what you're used to, but I worked hard for thousands of years for such a nice house with this view. It would be a shame if the one I've chosen to spend eternity with didn't enjoy it. Yes, eternity. I said you were stuck here forever, after all. Shh, I know. It's okay. I'll be here to take care of you forever. So please, don't fret, my dear human. Forever isn't so long, really. Just until time ends. And you'll be here for me as well, won't you? Mm -hmm. Because that's what's in the registration. Responsibility for the needs and actions of each other. What? Marriage? I... What? No, I mean... In a way, it's perhaps similar, but no, this is... Are you trying to confuse me, human? Never mind all that. I'll start going through the registration with you since you haven't yet learned our writing. I've already filled out my personal information while you slept, so we only have to complete your personal information as well as the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. I expect it would be quite personal and invasive. I'm quite looking forward to it. Now then. Your full name? Hmm. In demonic, I believe it's written such... Sex. Yeah. Not yes or no. <laughs> Would you like to change it? Virginity? <laughs> Such a silly question, isn't it? Date of birth. That would translate to our calendar. Address of birth. Address before death. How did you depart the mortal realm? Oh, please behave, human. Address Current Demonic Sponsor, that would be myself. Any other residents? No. What is your current mailing address? No, dear human, your address here. Address of last employer? Oh, they're respectable. How 
How long were you employed with them? I see. Identification number. You had one as a human, right? Mm -hmm. What is your blood type? Oh, I know that. Would you like to change it? Of course. Okay. Have any of your organs been removed? Would you like them removed? Would you like some organs added? What is your current height? What is your current weight? When was your last relationship? Prior to ours, dear human. How did it end, other than succubi intervention? How many fingers do you currently have? Would you like more or less? Do you have a vehicle license? Yes, your human one carries over. What is the registration number on your license? Which bank or union do you have a membership with? What is your account number? When does your membership expire? What is your PIN number? That's it for the personal information. Now let's see about the questionnaire part. I do believe we're supposed to fill this out together since each question has response fields for both of us. Why did you choose a succubus slash human as your eternal partner until the end of time? Oh, my dear sweet human, I honestly do believe it was for the best. Please remember that I will never lie to you. Okay, then I'll mark that down then. No other choice. As for me, I knew from our first meeting, when you were but a child, we were destined to be together. Mm-hmm. I seduced your neighbor for work purposes, and we happened to meet that evening by chance. You likely don't remember, as you are very young. Hmm. There we go. What needs is your chosen partner properly attending to during the trial period? Mm-hmm. Yes, your food, shelter, love, attention, the gifts that I've bestowed upon you as well. I've done what I can in most cases, but some 
I admit some things are hard to come by simply by their very nature. Mm-hmm. Yes, I see. That's excellent to hear. And my response... Most delicious. Fun to play with. Normally willing to help around the house. Unusually caring. Hmm. What needs is your chosen partner not properly attending to during the trial period? What's that? I had no idea you felt that way. Yes, of, of course I'm writing it down. I haven't been taking proper care of you and they need to know. Is there anything else? Hmm... This may pose a bit of an issue. You see, names have power down here, and you can't just carelessly use the name of one unprepared for it. Yes, that's why I've been calling you my dear human. Perhaps a pet name? Perhaps... Sweetness? I'm sorry, I'm not very creative in these matters. It's just that you're so sweet and delicious. It's all I can think of. But you know that already, don't you, my dear sweetness it is? As for my response, you could be a little bit more attentive when I get off of work. My shifts are three of your days long, and I'm on my feet the entire time, after all. I get so hungry, and you've barely taken care of my needs at all, and... You promise? Thank you. My dear sweetness, I'll hold you to that, because if you don't, well, let's hope it doesn't come to that, shall we? What do you enjoy most? about your chosen partner. Hmm. Do you really? I'll have to keep that in mind then. As for me... Flavor. What do you like least about your chosen partner? Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Speak up now. I'll just... I'll write that down. I don't think I've ever been quite so offended before. You are very willful and stubborn, but I will break you of that eventually. Now won't I? My dear sweetness. You know, my favorite flavor in all the world happens to be you. 
I'm going to enjoy every moment of our time together for all of eternity. And every moment that it takes to break you. <laughs> but where were we? We need to finish this, don't we? Yes. What is one thing that you want to change about your chosen partner? Of all the things I'm able to change, you name one of the few things I'm unable to. Though I do admit that I have never poked anyone with my horns as often as with you before. As for you... I think we both know I'd prefer it if you ate healthier. What is one thing that you would never change about your chosen partner? Hmm. Really? My undying devotion? Could it be that you finally realized how good you have it here with me? Hmm. I would have to say... Oh, flavor. I think I'm starting to see a pattern. What do you love about your chosen partner? My devotion. Why, thank you, my dear sweetness. I am utterly infatuated with you and will do anything within my power for you. As for what I love about you, that after countless ages, I have finally found my reason to exist, and I will stop at nothing, nothing, to keep you within my grasp. What can you least tolerate about your chosen partner? secrets, such as my work, and of course the trickery to get you here. I do admit that I try to keep my work and home life separated. I... yes. You've... you started out motivated, but recently you've been sleeping in and become rather slothful. Yes, we've also discussed your eating habits many times before. Perhaps I could take cooking lessons? Would that help? Yes, we can discuss it further later. Does pineapple belong on pizza? I... Hmm... Very well. I don't understand why this is even on here. It seems we have differing answers, however. Fascinating. 
What about your chosen partner confuses you the most? My thought process. Are you just a continual meal or something more? Oh, my dear sweetness. You are everything to me. You are the reason I have struggled so long and why I now continue to exist. Without you, there is no joy in torturing souls. You bring a spark of light into this soulless, heartless life of mine. The fact that you seem to not understand that it confuses and frustrates me. And there's my answer. Are you willing to suffer eternally for your chosen partner? No, I... I don't suppose either of us has a choice, if I'm to be completely honest. Not at this point, anyway. That means the obvious answer is yes for both of us, now isn't it? What is your ideal way to relax with your chosen partner? Yes, I agree that swapping the lava out for water in my hot tub was an excellent idea. If I hadn't, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it with you, after all. Relaxing in it with a bottle of wine is my favorite pastime as well. And now that you're included in that... <laughs> What is the one thing you wish you could show your chosen partner? This is a movie. Your favorite movie. I'll have to see about obtaining a copy of this so that we may watch it together then. As for me, someday I'd like to take you to see the fire pits of Markul. The rainbow of colors the geyser gives off at sunrise is spectacular. Are you aware of your chosen partner's obsessions? No. I could have sworn you had it figured out by now. It's you, my dear sweetness. I've been obsessed with the idea of you over the ages, and now... Now that I've finally met you... Yes, you are my obsession. So, I'll go ahead and mark you as yes, okay? And your obsession, I assume it's that human computer thing? Since you've gotten it, you've hardly done much of anything else. Perhaps I'll convince you to make me a part of your obsessions someday soon. Mm. Now then, that's the end of the questionnaire. Now we apply our blood seals. I'll apply yours first, so hold still and I'll... Hush now, it only takes a tiny prick of blood. Did you never notice the serrations upon my tail tip before now? Calm thyself, my sweetness. I'm not going to harm you overly. It's only a tiny little prick.
There we are. And that was mine. The form is complete and we're fully registered as a bonded pair by the laws of this realm, inseparable for the rest of eternity. So, what would you like to do first? Go out sightseeing? Have a romantic dinner? Share a bath? Or perhaps consummate our registration as a bonded pair? Hmm? My dear sweetness. Oh, you'd like to do that again. I think I would too, actually. You prepare the hot tub, I'll get the toys. But this time, my sweetness, may I be the captain? <laughs> 